Hello everyone, proud to bring you Wednesday night coverage of the NBA on 2K Sports. Moments away, it'll be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Seattle Supersonics. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter David Aldridge. Clark still early in the season, but by this time, teams are starting to gel and understand their nuances, aren't they? I agree. And those teams that have come together as one are usually the ones that get off to a good start. Those teams that haven't quite come together yet are looking for some answers. The important thing for those teams is to not panic and lose hope. Personal foul. First team foul. the right side. Now here's McKee. Here's the screen. Just four to shoot. Over front the end. Here's Coleman. And that one is hammered home. Yes, sir. Coleman knows a thing or two or three about flushing it home. McKee against Lewis. It's stolen by McKee. There's the pass to Iverson. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. McKee, no luck. And here are the Sonics. Lewis gets the bucket. And look at the effort level Lewis is delivering, outplaying his opponent. Passes to Van Horn on the wing, Iverson. We play just over a minute here in the first. So the wing on the left, there's the three, a nice shot by Van Horn. And AI, Allen Iverson, does more than just shoot the ball. He also has a great feel for when his teammates are wide open. Outside, Peyton. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. 76ers foul. And the two. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. On defense, Philadelphia. It's a three-point game. Barry the pass to Lewis. He kicks it to Rodmanovich. Shot clock at five. Three-pointer, Peyton knocks down the three ball. Well, that's a big-time response from Peyton. Coming right back and dropping the three of his own. Snow against Peyton. Over to the wing. Here's Van Horn. And it's Radmanovich with the rebound. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Now here's Peyton. Looking at the numbers, he's averaging about 20 and a half points a game. This will blow. This is good. So good. a chance here for a three-point play. He just bullied his way to the cup that time. Rodmanovich with a head of steam there. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And he's shooting his free throws to the tune of 75% this season. Fairly standard numbers. Buckner's checked in for McKee.
And the free throw, no good. He doesn't get to the line a ton, but Bogdanovich certainly puts the work in to be efficient at the line. A nice shot by Van Horn. They're yeah, going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. Yeah, that's how he rolls. I mean, intimidate the opponent right now. Now, here's Peyton. Pass to Lewis. Here's Rodmanovich. Back to Lewis. They set the pick. Three-pointer, Peyton, and he's good on the three ball. Peyton's got six points. Boy, the sharp shooting of Peyton. Admiral. You can't afford to give him daylight from deep. On the wing, Iverson. Fires it up. Again, Philadelphia. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now, here's Peyton. He's got six. Here's Ron Bonovich. Back to Peyton. The three. Pass to Barry. Peyton with it. There's the pick. And the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. And, you know, the D has to be more aware of Peyton, especially when he's looking to score from there. Here's Snow. Scoreless thus far. Iverson outside from deep three-point land. Another three for Philadelphia. He's a fantastic facilitator. He can virtually run a team in his sleep. Seattle has gone two or three from deep so far in this game. On the wing, Peyton. He's covered by Snow. Here's Rod Bonovich. Six to shoot. Seattle needs to get off a shot. It's deflected. Lewis. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Lewis has got his second bucket of the night. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Here's Snow. This game he had 12. Here's Iverson. Takes it off the glass. Iverson's got seven points. One of the better scorers on the floor. Tough to defend him well without some contact. And AI fights through it this time. Now here's Peyton. His last outing, he had 18 points. Here's the pass to Rod Bonovich. Pass to drop the end. And off there, he misses his first shot of the night. Down low. Coleman gets the bucket. Coleman's got his second basket of the game. Coleman's comfort level inside clearly on display, which is why his guys have confidence in him down there. Peyton looking around. Passes it to Lewis. Right wing. Oats one up. Walking foul call. And the bucket is good. Three point play chance here for him. Boy, that was a sweet looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. Philadelphia shooting their first free throw of the evening. And, and as a unit, they're shooting 78% from the line. That's a solid number to work with on the season. One of the things they've done, guys, is taken pride in their free throw shooting this season. And rightfully so. Great Buckner. One shot. Here's Barry. Still without a basket. Pass to Lewis. Nice ball movement by Seattle. Pass to Drobniak. To the wing right side. Five to shoot. Lewis passes to Barry. Looking to end the run. Caps in the tray. And how about the stroke there from Barry? He has such an effortless release on his three ball. 
Trading against Snow. Kicks it to Iverson. Tries it from 19. Lewis grabs the board. Seattle has gone three or four on three pointers in the first quarter. Doing well from long range. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. Just taking advantage of his body. Lewis absorbing the blow before finishing that one. Here's Snow. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Now Iverson. Philadelphia needs to get a shot off. Here's Coleman. And it's good. With time running down in the shot clock. Coleman's got six. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. Now here's Lewis. Six points for him. Earl Boykins checked in for the 76 ers And Seattle also making a change. Ward, he's checked in for Peyton McCoy. Defense the 76ers. Lewis outside. All sorts of time. It's rebounded by Snow. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've got here in the first half. Here's more. 76ers getting the bucket. Inside. Ivanovich the pass to Ward. Over Coleman. And once again off the mark by Seattle. Looking at Philadelphia, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Rockets. The pass to Snow. Up to the right wing. Here's Buckner. Who's back up? He takes it up and lays it in. Now it's a 6.76ers lead. You've got to put a body on Coleman because when you don't, he'll hurt you. Here's Ward. He's covered by Snow. Or the pass to Rodmanovich. Here's Ward. Still yet to score. Four on the shot clock. Got a piece of it. And now, Philadelphia on the break. Here's Coleman. Yes, that goes in. And the 76ers lead by eight. And an important part of every team's game. A look at the hustle stats for the 76ers. They've really been disruptive on the defensive end. Forcing turnovers and turning those turnovers into points at the other end. And they are also just outworking the opposition in transition. When the break is on, They've continued to find ways to score. This is exactly what Romanovich is known for, a steady hand shooting the perimeter shot. Now Boykins, his last outing, he had 18 points. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Van Horn's got 10 points. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. There's a good screen. Rodmanovich's shot is off. Philadelphia leading by eight. To the inside. Coleman. Six for six. He's got to miss from the field. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. And you know, when you've got a chance to put a team away early, you got to take it. On the first time out of the game, call for Seattle.
changes for Philadelphia. Kulik's checked in for Van Horn. And Iverson's subbed in for Snow. Big group substitution here for Seattle. But Openko's checked in for Drobniak. Evans comes in for Edmanovich. Mason, he checked in for Rashard Lewis. And it's Peyton in for Barry. 125 left in the first quarter. And here is Peyton. He's got eight. Passes it to Mason. Fires for three. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Coleman got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Iverson, no luck. It's trail by ten. Pass to Ward. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. You know, that's just sloppy basketball giving away a possession. No real reason for that turnover. And Philadelphia making a change here. Lions checked in. The Supersonics also with the sub. Kemp's checked in. Here is Boykins. No scoring in this one. There's a screen by Bryant. There's 42 seconds left in the first. Lock at six. The 76ers again can't hit it. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the game. Shot's good from Mason. And when he gets in his head that he's going to get to the basket, very little you can do defensively. To the middle. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Peyton. Pass to Mason. He's looking for Kemp and finds him. Three-pointer, Peyton. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And so is Philadelphia in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. They're popping the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. For those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And looking at what we've seen from the 76ers, what do you guys think? Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. Yeah, and you know, so many of their hoops came off an assist, which is a good sign of ball movement and sharing that ball. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Iverson against Peyton. Here is Boykins, scoreless thus far. Well, Clark, we've had a few years without the illegal defensive calls. How do you think the change has gone? I think it's been good. I mean, again, anytime there's new opportunities to play the game differently, it sometimes takes a while for everybody to embrace that. Man-to-man -man is still the go-to defense, although we do see some teams playing the occasional zone. But... I'm anticipating that will only increase as teams get more comfortable with what zone defenses can do for them. And that one falls for Boykins. Buckner's checked in for Williams. So he hits both. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Here's Ward. Now the pass to Peyton. Goes up on the high post. Just five on the clock. Here's Ward. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. 
Ward's got his first two points of the night. A nice move to create a gap there in the defense and get to the bucket. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Now here's Iverson. Last game, 26 points. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his second. Fading defenders into fouls. AI so good at drawing fouls and getting to the strike. For Philadelphia, they have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. Shooting two. First one falls for him. You can really tell Iverson approaches the game with a single-minded focus. Can be intimidating trying to defend a guy with his level of skill and determination. Both free throws good for Iverson. And here are the Supersonics now. Trailing here by eight. A tough loss coming against New York in their last game play. What a duel that was. Exciting all the way to the end. Really a shame someone had to walk away with an L. I tell you, it's too bad one of them had to lose because I thought both teams were evenly matched in that game. Here's Peyton. And the layup is good. Peyton's got ten points in the game. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Iverson outside. And they double up Iverson. Five on the clock and stolen by Peyton. Passes it to Mason. Some nice ball movement here by Seattle. Pass to Peyton. Over Iverson. Evans dishes to Peyton. A second chance effort. That one, no good. Nice D from Bryant. The 76ers leading by six. Iverson kicks to Boykins. Bryant the pass to Iverson. Over Peyton. Iverson, no good. Or the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. Pass to Ward. Mason with it. The pass to Evans. Here's Ward. Puts up a three. And it's Bryant with the rebound. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And stolen by Peyton. Down low. Really love watching Peyton dish it out like that. He's a true floor general who does an outstanding job of getting his teammates to clean looks. Outside, Bryant. Iverson against Peyton to end the cold streak. Iverson with the bucket. Iverson's got 11. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the deep thinking jump shot. Gave a little pump fake and then off to the races. Pass to Peyton. Here is Mason. 13 feet away. And the shot is good. Eight points for him. And Mason has proven he has a mid-range jump shot, one that the defense got to respect. Now Boykins, right now he's averaging 11 points a game. The three from Iverson, it's good. Assisting on the play was Boykins. Boykins has got his third assist on the night. Here's Ward. Outside, Baton. Evan setting the pick for Peyton. Dishes it to Evans. Tries again, and he sinks the layup. 
It's never easy trying to keep him off the glass. He's an absolute beast down there. The 76ers leading by five. Now Boykins has to Iverson. Let's a floater go, and it's good on the way in. An outstanding elite score, especially given his size. And right there, Iverson using that soft touch on the floater. Here is Mason. Eight points for him. Evans outside. To the wing right side. Shot clock at six. That's the three fly. Ward misses. 76ers have gone three or four for the four here in the second quarter. Here's Buckner, guarded by Mason. Two free throws coming out of him. They call the shooting foul. That's his first personal foul. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. And of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. And I don't think there's any question about it, guys. He's got to bring that percentage up. I mean, those are the kind of free throw numbers that will get you in a coach's doghouse and get your teammates a little mad at you. Two shots. That free throw missing. Some changes for Philadelphia. Coleman's checked in for McCullough. McKee comes in for Bryant. And it's Snow in for Earl Boykins. And then for Seattle. Probniak, he's checked in for Evans. Radmanovich comes in for Sean Kemp. And Lewis subbed in for Ward. And he sinks the second. Here's Peyton. Ten points for him. Pass to Mason. Here's Drotnian. The shot off that time. Here's Snow. Hasn't made one yet. The pass to Buckner. And here is McKee. Here's Coleman. Covered by Peyton. Coleman gets the bucket. Coleman's got the lead up to 10 now for the 76ers. Got to bring more muscle than that to stop Derek Coleman because he's excellent at playing through contact. Peyton against Snow. There's a screen. Over to the wing. Here's Kropnian. It's hauled in by the 76ers. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Keep going, McKee with it. They look to him for part of their offensive attack right now, which is nearly 12 points a game. You know, I mean, Jack Iverson just out there doing what he does best, scoring the rock. And the defense hasn't had much of an answer, pun intended. Here's Peyton after the made shot from Allen Iverson. Lewis a screen on McKee. Odmanovich, a three. It drops for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. And when he's got that much of a height advantage on the perimeter, it's really tough on the defender. Easy three-pointer. Iverson right side. Another three for Philadelphia. The last three shot put Iverson in some kind of mood. He goes to the arc and delivers the answer. Now here's Lewis. Nine points. Last game out. This is a debate. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. Taking a look at Seattle. They're still struggling, trying to string something together, getting a lot of wins. The competition, though, is so tough. And I think for Seattle, they haven't looked anything like the team we thought they'd be this year. Still such a long way to go. They could be in line for a long, tumultuous season. Yeah, that's the sense you get, isn't it? I mean, the important thing is that they don't panic here. Stick to the basics and work out of this slump without trying to do too much at one time. Just find the shoot. And here's Iverson outside. Peyton gets the rebound. And here's Peyton. He'll bring it up for the Seattle Supersonics. A 12-point game. 
And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the 76ers this year. And this was as even a matchup as you'll find in the NBA. Split the season series down the middle, one apiece. Yeah, this is really tight. I mean, it's splitting hairs when you talk about these teams. You get the feeling if they play 10 games, each side would win five. And Philadelphia has possession after Rashard Lewis's ass. Buckner, good. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Sonics trail by 14. Time call here. Time the Sonics decide to talk it over. Party. Boykins comes in for Iverson. Gary's checked in for the Sonics. Ward comes in for Gary Payton. Here's Ward. Right now he's averaging 11 points a game. They set the pick. Admanovich for three. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. The pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Here's Snow. He has yet to score. That's the Boykins. Down to five on the shot clock. Home. Rebound by the Sonics. Here's Ward. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And with an 86% free throw average, you can count on him to come through on most trips. And fellas, I, I think you have to like his improvements over his free throw numbers from a year ago. It's not a significant number or, or a huge amount, but it's improvement nonetheless. First free throw is good. Iverson's checked in for Philadelphia. Gary Payton, he's checked in for Seattle. One misses. The 76ers leading by 10. Van Horn, the pass to Coleman. Count that bucket. Coleman's got four this quarter. Coleman can be so dominant at times, and these are the types of games he's capable of having. Two minutes in the first half. Two minutes. 157 left to play here in the half. Here's Rodmanovich. Oh, that's what. Push it up for on three. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first. Well, I love the quiet, poise, and unselfish attitude of Snow. He's somebody his teammates not only respect, but follow. The first one falls. Sonic's making a switch here. Lewis is checked in. And 
so Snow nails both of them. 144 left in the second quarter. Outside, Peyton, and there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Here's Snow. 127 left in the first half of basketball. Iverson outside. Fires from way outside. And it's Radmanovich with the rebound. And here's Peyton. He'll bring it up for the Supersonics. They trail by 14. Lewis, left side. As the drop Niak. Now, here's Peyton. He's covered by Snow. Clock at four. <laughs> And Philadelphia making a change here. Both Hogan's checked in. Second team. Coming up to the fourth year, Sixer. Number one. Both fans. Who is outside? Odmanovich the pass to Barry. On the wing, Peyton. Shot clock at five. And again, Seattle turns it over. There's 48 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Here's Snow. And the pass to Iverson. It's off the step back, and he hits the jump shot. Iverson's got 23 points. Unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. The 76ers leading by 16. Iverson outside. Six on the shot clock. Now Boykins. Carries it from three-point range. Boykins has got five now. And so it's Philadelphia taking a 19-point lead into the break. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. What a game we're seeing from Allen Iverson. And if he can keep shooting from deep like he did in the first half, he's going to be more than a handful. Yeah, you know what? The defense is going to adjust. They'll be ready for him now, so I'm sure they talked a lot about how to slow him down. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. And here is Peyton. Passes to Rodmanovich. Lewis on the wing. Six to shoot. And that one's on target from the wing. Lewis has got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for Seattle. Peyton against Snow. Iverson left side. Here's the three. It's rebounded by Kropniak. Peyton against Snow. Peyton kicks to Rodmanovich. Back to Peyton. Outside for Lewis. Nice ball movement by Seattle. 
pass to Drobniak. Off target from three-point range. Philadelphia leading by 17. To the paint, puts it up. And the 76ers tack on two more. Wanting to get his teammates in the rhythm. Iverson showing leadership with these types of passes. Lewis against McKee. Lewis outside. Peyton against Snow. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Bumping, battling down low. Gary Payton is more than comfortable in those situations. Gary Payton, two shots. And he knocks down the first one. <laughs> Payton, a super vocal guy, constantly talking up a storm, always trying to get into the heads of the opposition. And both free throws good for Payton. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. Iverson outside. Pass to Van Horn. Out to the wing. There's a screen. Rocket six. Snow can't hit. Next trail by 17. Who is outside? Snow against Peyton. And that one's good. Drop me in. That is super efficient getting in deep and then taking advantage. The 76ers leading by 15. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Iverson outside. Hands the shot with nobody near him. Iverson's got 25 points in the game. Oh, nice stroke on Iverson's jumper. He looks so confident taking that shot. Who is outside? Here's Rod Bonovich. 11 points in the game, and it's good. Two points. The 76ers have gone 2 of 4 here to start the second half. Snow against Peyton. And there's the pass to Iverson. And they double up Iverson. And now the Supersonics on the break. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. And a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. Rashard Lewis getting his teammates involved. The big man moving the rock right there. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Here's checked in for McKee. What's up? And Barry offers a ton of versatility. I mean, Brent is a tall guard with really good handles and a deadly three-point shooter. Here's Snow. Iverson outside. Good on the triple. Iverson's got five points now in the quarter. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now. Shooting a terrific percentage from the field. Lewis, right side. The Sonics again can't hit. The 76ers leading by 15. Passes it to Snow. Now here's Iverson. Takes a three. And it's Radmanovich with the rebound. Yeah, but the defense was determined not to give him an inch of free space. They set the screen. Four on the shot clock. Seattle missing again. 76ers have gone three of six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. Van Horn, the pass to Snow. Here's Buckner. Iverson. 
Anderson outside. Shoots it. That's good on the jump shot. And that's now 30 points for Iverson. He's trail by 17. Time called here. The Sonics decide to talk it over. We've seen Allen Iverson really have a great game. And he's on fire from beyond the arc there. It's time to start shaping their game plan around stopping this long-range assault. Earl Boykins checked in for the 76ers. Number one, Here's Peyton. 12 points for him. Pass to Radmanovich. Pass to Barry. Who is outside. And here is Peyton. He's covered by Snow. Here's the break. Here's Iverson. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Fred Perry picks one up, and a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. And they're playing beautiful basketball right now, racking up the assists by playing so unselfishly, just finding the open man. And I love the fact they kept the pressure on, really pushing that ball, running it up the floor. I love seeing that, a team staying aggressive even when they're playing well. And the first one drops. And both free throws good for Iverson. So Peyton will bring it up for the Supersonics. 19-point game. When this game is done, they'll be off to take on the Raptors. That puts them squarely in the middle of this five-game road trip. Rodmanovic kicks to Peyton. Shot clock at six. Shot to stop the run. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision excellent. against Peyton. Here's Snow. Iverson outside. Ivers from deep. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. Well, head to the line for three free throws. Yeah, good job trying to get a hand in the face, but you've got to be more careful. Especially on the three-point attempt. I mean, you have to defend that shot without fouling. Now you give a guy three free throws. And he hits the first of three. And he hits the second from the line. And he's 100% from the line thus far. For Seattle, they've gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% from the field. The pass to Lewis. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Iverson. Four on three break. Over Barry. Got a piece of it. Peyton outside.
drive the shoot to the middle. Here's Drobnian, and he takes that one up and powers it through. And really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. On the wing, Iverson. And they double up Iverson. Coleman, no good. Sonic's trail by 18. Here's Barrett. He has six. For three, Rodmanovich. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. Rodmanovich looking very confident. You could tell he knew that was going down. Here's Snow. Passes it to Coleman. Here's Snow. Here's the screen. Over Payton. Another miss by Philadelphia. For Seattle, they've gone 7 of 10 on their field goal attempts here in the third. Pass to Radmanovich. That's in, coming off an assist from Payton. Payton's got five assists in the game. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. Time out, time and you out. know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. checked in and Seattle also making a change. Ward, he's checked in for Peyton. Here's Poikens. Nice form on the 20 foot. Poikens has got seven points. And you know, Snow knows his team depends on him to do this. A solid floor, Jim. Who is outside? They set the pick for three. Rodmanovich. And again, Seattle with the triple. Boy, a big man with great touch from deep. Always a valuable commodity in today's game. Now Boykins, seven points in the game. Pass to Van Horn. That drops, and it comes off the assist from Boykins. Boykins has got assist number five here tonight. Here's Ward. He's covered by Snow. Ward, good. The 76ers leading by 11. Snow. Out left of the wing. Picked his pocket. And pushing it up. Here's Seattle. Lewis with the three. Another three for Seattle. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Ryan's checked in for the 76ers. And a change for the Sonics. Mason's checked in. Here's Seattle. They're on an 18-7 run. Who is outside? Mason with it. He's got eight. Back to Lewis. Five on the clock. He kicks to Mason. Here's Ward. Misses the three. And he used the pump fake well there, but he couldn't capitalize. For three. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. You, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. 
Here's Ward. Five points in the game. Lewis on the way. Defended by Bryant. Lewis misses. Take what's available. Use the fadeaway when the defender's there on it. To the inside. It's tipped. The shot by Bryant. No good. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Here's Warren. Right now he's averaging 11 points a game. No problem knocking that one down. Mason's got 11 points. Seems like Mason is always in attack mode. I mean, gets the pass right there and then quickly gets into a shot. 104 left to play here in the third. The pass to Van Horn. Another three for Philadelphia. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Here's Ward. Passes to Lewis. And looks like the illegal kick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Here's what Philadelphia's going with right now. Up here comes in for Van Horn. And Allen Iverson subbed in for Snow. Now here's Iverson. He has 35. There's the screen. Here's Boykins. And he makes that one. Boykins has got four points now in the quarter. Given the size disadvantage, you have to have a lot of confidence to take that shot. And you know what? He does. I mean, in the NBA, you've got to have ways to score over defenders of all sizes. Here's Peyton. 12 points for him. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. 14 points for him. A master at dicing and slicing up defenses. Peyton excels at reading pick and rolls and capitalizing it. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They've got a big advantage in the turnover stats because of their intense defense. Back right after this. Upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. The 76ers leading by 11. Now Boykins. Pass to Iverson from outside the arc. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And, and maybe, you know, he thinks he can shoot himself out of the cold spell, but I don't think that's the case. Maybe somebody want to tell him that he's up off the three. Pass to Mason. Over Buckner. Mason misses. Philadelphia shooting fantastically in this game. 62% from the floor. Buckner the pass to Bryant. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Bryant's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the 76ers. Here's Ward. Mason up top. Now the pass to Ward. Three-pointer. Rebound by the 76ers. They led the game at one point by 20. This is it to Boykins. Pass to McCullough. Let's it go with the three. It's tipped. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. 
Now, here's Peyton. Mason dishes to Peyton. Over to the left wing. Four. That's in. Coming off an assist from Peyton. Peyton's got six assists now in the game. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. And Bryant is right there. And that's a pure hustle play, getting to the offensive glass for the tip. And that's the kind of quality you see in any strong offensive rebounder, isn't it? Definitely. You're not going to make plays like that unless you expend the energy. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensive. Bryant with a screen on Pete. Iverson passes to Boykins. Plenty of space. And again, it's Philadelphia. Quick time called here. The Sonics decide to talk it over. We've seen Allen Iverson really have a great game. I mean, he continues to burn them with his scoring. The coaching staff's going to have to come up with a different approach defensively. Some changes for Philadelphia. Coleman's checked in for Bryant. And it's Howard in for Button. Robniak, he's checked in for Seattle. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey guys, I was able to hear Nate McMillan talk to his team during the break. He tore into his guys. He said, your body language is awful right now. You don't even look like you want to play right now. Should I sub in for you? Where's the drive to win? Guys. Thank you, David. Howard against Mason. A put back, and there's Evans putting it right back in. Boy, fighting to keep that play alive. Beautiful tip in there. Boykins pass to Iverson releases they get a bet second chance shot here's Coleman persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot and the 76ers lead by 11 the Supersonics have gone 3 of 6 in the field so far in the 4th quarter Howard against Mason to drop Niak. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. Something Peyton does so well. He's a phenomenal distributor and pace setter for this offense. Anderson against Peyton to the left wing. Here's Boykins. And Evans pulls it down. Evans has got five rebounds tonight. Here's Ward. There's the pass to Mason. Takes a three. Rebounded by Coleman. Coleman's got eight rebounds in this game. Down low. McCulloch with the basket. Oh, and look at how well he led him in there. Really, he passed him open for that deuce. Here's Ward. Mason up top. Evans, a screen on out. Offensive rebound. Evans dishes to Mason. Passes it to Ward. Pass to Mason. That's it. A 7 for 12 now in the game. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Here is Boykins. The three from Iverson. Rebounded by the Super Sun. Omniac's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Mason misses. The 76ers leading by nine. Howard kicks to Iverson. And they double up Iverson. Now Boykins. Iverson outside. Over Peyton. Iverson, no luck. It's really a tale of two quarters. Shot it so well in the last, but this one can't get anything to fall. Goes to the reverse layup and claps it in. 16 points for Gary Peyton. Really smart move by Peyton against contact, getting around the defender into the basket. Right wing. Here is Boykins, pass to Coleman. Now Iverson. Feeds it to McCullough. And he comes 
jump. The V just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. And it's the Supersonics with the ball. After the Sixers pick up two. Over to the left wing. Here's Ward. Connects from three-point range. Well, and this has been their strategy throughout the fourth period. We'll see how it pans out. You know what? Teams can get a little three-happy down the stretch sometimes. Letting it fly. And Philadelphia calls time here. Jack in for McCullough. McKee comes in for Howard. And it's Snow in for Earl Boykins. And then for Seattle. Radmanovich comes in for Reggie Evans. And Barry subbed in for Mason. And here are the 76ers now. They led the game at one point by 20. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. And Monovich's shot is off. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Here's Snow. the pass to Coleman. Six to shoot. And it's Seattle with the rebound. There's the lob to the hoop. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you could see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition, switch, ignite. The three from Anderson cranes the three, and yes, he'll go to the line for one more. Brent Perry picks one up. Boy, Iverson so stubborn and competitive offensively, forcing that shot through even while taking the foul. First team foul. At the line for your Sixers, Allen Iverson. One shot. Free throw good, Iverson. Here's Peyton. It's to Rod Monovich. Inside. And that one's good, Drobniak. Drobniak's got 10 points here in the second half. That's serving it up on the platter there. What a nice pass. A high percentage look was the result. Iverson outside to the right side. Launches a three. Rebounded by Ward. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Some dishes to Peyton. Over Iverson. Count it. And the 76ers lead has been cut down to just six points with the basket from Gary Payton. Read the defense perfectly on that possession. Pass to Snow. To the wing right side. Here's Van Horn. And it's good off the glass. Van Horn's got 20 points. Sonics trail by eight. Time call here. The Sonics decide to talk it over. And they've been very loose with the ball here. They haven't been as patient, forcing things a bit, which has led to turnovers. They need to just slow down and relax. Richard Lewis, he's checked in for war. Super Science substitution. Number seven, Richard Lewis.
Here's Peyton. Nice ball movement by Seattle. And they double up Peyton. Right wing. Here's Barry. And the Supersonics miss again. Just a, enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Count that one. And now a 10.76ers lead. And, you know, for being a smaller guard, Iverson is a master at finishing inside. Just remarkable. Peyton drives in. Rebounded by Coleman. Coleman's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. And here is Iverson. And he banks in the layup. Iverson's got 43 points. And when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, and the top man is going for the jump. Well, he only plays one way, and that's um, full throttle, all day, all the time. Cold-blooded and lethal. Here's Iverson. The Sonics getting the bucket. One hundred forty-three left to play in the final quarter. That one's not going to go. Sonics trail by ten. Peyton right side. Seventeen-foot shot on the way and right on target. Good. Peyton's got 20 points. Gary Payton, very comfortable from this range. Iverson passes to Snow, to the middle, and Horn. Well time pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the lead. And the 76ers lead by 10. And uh, Seattle shooting the ball really well in this game, 58%. Here's Barry. Iverson covering. Here's Payton. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And uh, 101 left in the fourth. It's clear now how this is going to end, and I'm not surprised. Great win for the 76ers. A beautiful pass doesn't always get you on the highlight reels, but there were some spectacular dishes in this game. Well, you know what? It was a team that was in sync and, and just trusted one another to take the right shots. And this will be a big win for them. Lucky win number 13 now in the bag. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. It sure is. It's just a two-gamer since they're in opposite conferences. And you can bet they'll take the same approach right into game two that they had tonight. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And, and look at the stats. Just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Iverson. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do much to keep him from dropping it in. Peyton against Snow. So Philadelphia wins it even to the line in this one. It seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. But once they started to really play in rhythm, it never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.